Looking for something fun to do? Come on, let's get out, Beaver County. The Beaver County Historical Weekend celebration is this Saturday and Sunday at 17 local sites, like here at the Southside Historical Village. The theme this year is the history of Beaver County food. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to have cookies in here right now that we're baking. So what I'm going to do is uh, remove the door here. And you know, it's pretty hot in here, so we got our, our peel. Andy Janicki and others at the Southside Historical Village, next to the Hookstown Fairgrounds, will bake bread and cookies on their outdoor oven like people did a century ago. They'll be doing the same thing in Old Economy Village in Ambridge, the Little Beaver Historical Society in Darlington, and the Vickery Mansion in Freedom, making homemade foods from days gone by for weekend visitors to sample. With everything from arrowheads to Joe Namath memorabilia to World War I uniforms and rows and rows of antique china dishes, the Beaver Falls Historical Society and Museum in the basement of the Carnegie Free Library is a must stop on the self-guided tour. They'll have historical minded food too. And special foods we have set up are number one is the depression cake. The depression cake was made because people at the time didn't have a job or had any money income coming in, so they ended up uh, not having as much fun for the kids. And what they found in the house, they put together and made a cake out of, and the kids loved it. It's a chocolate. All vouch, it's good. The museum also pairs the food with its most prized possession. This is Try Your Hand at Chopsticks. This is the Chinese book right here, too. Talk about this historic book. Uh, this we have today, this uh, display with the real Chinese book, which is 200 years old, wow. that we found in our storage room. Old Economy Village in Ambridge, Vickery Mansion in Freedom, and the Richmond Little Red Schoolhouse in Brighton Township are three of the stops on the tour. We're very excited to have everybody come and see all of our things, but we're very excited to be in connection with the other 18 museums in the county. And Vickery House has gotten together, all of us, to produce antique food that was presented from our grandmother and our mothers to feed the children and feed the families that worked in the factories here that used to be here. And they were very, we're very excited to be part of that. If you're headed to the Southside Historical Village, make sure to take the kitchen and one-room schoolhouse tour from Betty Broadmerkel, who's 96 years young. This is the only way we could have toast we would put the toaster on the stove to get it hot, and then we would put the bread along the side. So, <clears throat> so this coal stove had to be going every day of the year, even July and August, because if you didn't have this coal stove going, you didn't eat, because everything was, um, was cooked on this coal stove. Pay attention in the schoolroom tour, or Betty might just let you have it.